Hey guys, Brian here. Just finished my first week as a part-time package handler at UPS. Wanted to tell you about the hiring process, uh, the first week in the training, and the uh, benefits and tips and tricks of how to make the job a lot easier. So first I obviously uh, applied online, took me less than an hour, pretty standard application. Got an email saying, hey, come into the warehouse uh, to meet with HR. Met with HR, they give you a tour of the facility, which uh, is pretty blunt. You know, it's loud in there, it's dirty. If you've never been in a warehouse before, it's a little bit eye-opening. They're very honest and saying, hey, this is tough work, you know, we want um, hardworking people. Uh, from there, you fill out an application and uh, they do a background check from there. Really, if ev everything looks good um, and the hours work for you, then you're hired. The uh, hours are twilight or dawn. So because we were hired during the, I was hired during the coronavirus, they're as busy as if it was Christmas or maybe a little bit less than Christmas, but they're more busy than usual. You know, there's tons of hand sanitizer and masks going everywhere. A lot more people are shopping online for groceries and things. Uh, so the, the, the shift I chose was the, the night shift or the twilight um, shift. So it usually starts around 5 p.m. and is done around 9 p.m. Uh, but they're starting at either 4 p.m. or 3 p.m., depending on the day. Uh, Monday and Wednesdays are pretty busy, uh, where the dawn, you know, starts at 5 a.m. and goes to 9 a.m., and if it's busy, starts at, you know, 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. The pay is actually uh, $14.50 an hour. It is uh, a union job here, so you join the union and pay dues. It's like a $200 initiation fee uh, after working there for 30 days, and it's spread out over eight weeks. So it's like 25 bucks over eight weeks, and that's that's your your dues to join the union. Um, what's nice about the union is they negotiate uh, benefits and pay. Uh, they have a little bit more power than regular, you know, W-2 employees. So. You know, there's an incremental pay increase every single year that's negotiated every five years, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, the big thing here is free healthcare. Yeah, so they, the employer UPS, pretty much fronts the the insurance premiums. Uh, so I was reading the employee handbook. Yeah, you're being paid fourteen fifty an hour, but they have you know uh, free healthcare. Uh, factored into that plus they have uh, tuition reimbursement if you want to go to school part-time uh, I think they do five thousand dollars each semester uh, for a twenty five thousand dollar total over your career with them so if you add that up it really you're making about twenty five dollars an hour um, with those benefits uh, added in to, to the hourly rate um, there's tons of opportunity if you do become kind of tenured there you know, UPS drivers that, that drive the big brown trucks all over your neighborhood can make up to $80,000 a year, which I thought was pretty mind-blowing. Um, obviously, you know, once they've been there for years and years, that, that goes up. Uh, there's tons of supervisor positions, part-time supervisor p positions, just like any other business. You know, these warehouses are all over the country, all over the world. They have, you know, formal um, office jobs as well, if, if, if that's the route you want to go. So there's tons of uh, for someone, you know, maybe fresh out of high school or someone who wants supplemental income like myself, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity and, and could potentially turn into a lifelong uh, career. I think there, most people who work at, at the location I'm at have been there for two to 30 plus years. Um, so if people don't work out, they usually don't work out quite quickly. Um, the, tr the training, you know, there's a couple boring hazmat videos the first week and then really you're with a supervisor showing you what they know and going through a formal kind of 30 day uh, book where you're learning, you know, how to make walls in the trailer properly, uh, how to lift without your back properly, how to use the equipment. Uh, you have a little computer on your hip that you get a belt and then you have a little scanner on your fingers. Um, I got a little little bit of a blister there on my knuckle. Um, I've tried a couple different things. The, the biggest issue I had, I mean, my back hurt on Monday, but uh, you learn to lift better and use your back less throughout the week. So it's actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Um, there are heavy boxes, but a lot of them are also really light. You know, it's kind of funny. Someone might get something tiny from Macy's or Target or Home Depot and it comes in a huge box, but 
it weighs almost nothing because the actual item is super small. Uh, but with coronavirus, there's tons of boxes of face masks and hand sanitizer going everywhere. Um, so that's been, been interesting to see. Um, a couple of the other benefits that I thought was interesting was a 10% employee stock uh, discount. So UPS stock, I think it's trading at like, oh, 80 or 90 bucks right now. So right off the bat, I mean, you'd be getting a 10% discount, which is pretty cool. Uh, they do have, oh, it's a, a 5% discount, sorry. Uh, they have, you know, paid time off as well. Uh, paid holidays after you've been there for a year. And really, I mean, a, a great job. I've found it as a way for, you know, maybe a, a small business owner, an entrepreneur to work this job while they're working on their startup where, you know, they can still, you know, pay their grocery bills, maybe their rent and uh, get that free health care after you've been there for nine months and work on, on your business when you're not uh, slinging packages around. The couple tips and tricks I had. I, I've tried a different uh, approach. I wore uh, obviously a face mask a couple days or wearing it every day for the virus. Um, wearing safety glasses, which they don't give you. You'd have to go get. Wearing gloves, they don't give you. You'd have to go get. They do give you the belt. Um, looking into steel toe boots. Right now I have some like hiking boots that aren't really great for it. Um, long sleeves I found was helpful because it kind of prevents your arms from getting beat up and pinched in, in the boxes. Um, really uh, not, not a bad gig for anybody. Um, you know, UPS has been around since 1907. It was originally called the American Messenger Company. Uh, and, you know, it's not going anywhere. E-commerce isn't going anywhere. Um, the, they claim that UPS is growing at a pace of 14 to 18 percent on volume uh, throughout their buildings in 2019 with more expected in 2020. So really not, um, you know, a bad place to be. It says if you're 21 years old with a clean driving record in the last year and you can pass a Department of Transportation physical, you'll be eligible to be a UPS driver. Starting pays $21 per hour for that position. If you qualify and make permanent seniority, you'll be at $40 per hour when you have full progression for years after seniority. So the way it works is, you know, at your individual location, if they need a driver, they post it up on the wall, you put your name under it and they go based off seniority. So it's, it's no, no office politics, no, you know, sucking up to whoever. It's really uh, who, who's uh, at that leader, leadership board. Um, they, can, they can get rid of you as a part-time package handler if you're not kind of hitting quota, which they say is about uh, scanning and loading six uh, packages, uh, one package per six seconds. Uh, after my first week, I think I was about seven or... Uh, so it's not that difficult to do. I mean, really, if you're just dragging your feet, you know, they they could uh, kind of get rid of you that way. Um, but yeah, comment below if you've worked at UPS, if you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll answer them. Uh, also, shoot another video, see how long, uh, you know, I end up sticking with this kind of part-time supplemental income job. Thanks.